The cost to insure jewelry is a fixed amount plus a percentage of the value of the jewelry. It costs $32 to insure $1,000 worth of jewelry or $44.50 to insure $3,500 worth of jewelry. What is the fixed amount to insure jewelry? Now these problems can be tricky and the key idea is we're going to come up with two linear equations. Once we have two linear equations we can solve for each variable quite easily. So the trickiest part is actually coming up with the formulas. So we're searching for cost. The cost is a fixed amount plus a percentage. So it's going to be a fixed amount plus a percentage of the value of the jewelry. So let's let P be the percentage and of the value. So we'll just say the value is a V and the P is the percentage plus the uh, fixed amount. So when we're talking about the cost of jewelry, V being the value of the jewelry times multiplied by the percentage is going to be considered a percentage of the value of the jewelry. So what are we given here? We're given, we're given it costs $32. The cost is $32 is equals to $1,000 being the value, the worth. And we're given P as percentage. Um, plus F, since we don't know what F is, we don't know what the percentage is. But we're given some other information. It also costs $44.50, so the cost is $44.50 is equals to, to insure $3,500 worth of jewelry. So the value here is $3,500 times a certain percentage, plus F. So can we solve for F, the fixed amount, given these two equations, equation one and equation two? And once we have two different equations, two different variables, we can very easily solve for the actual variables. I'm just going to copy equation number one again. So we have equation number one, 32 equals 1000p plus f. And I'm going to subtract the two equations. I'm going to subtract the top equation minus the bottom equation. So when we have 4450 minus 32, we get 1250, where I'm subtracting this minus this, is equals to 3500 minus 1000 is 2500p. F minus F disappears, plus zero. So we can solve for P by dividing both sides by 2500. So P is equals to 1250 divided by 2500. So 1250 divided by 2500 is 0 0.005. So P is equals to 0 0.005. So once we know P, we can choose either equation, equation one or equation two to solve for F. I'll just use equation number one. So we have equation from equation number one, 32, is equals to 1000p, which happens to be 0 0.005 plus f. So here, 1000 times 0 0.005 becomes 5. So this is 5. So f is equals to, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. We're going to get 27. So the fixed cost of the uh, to insure the jewelry is going to be $27. Choice A is correct.